Hello everybody, I'm Eustace Farmer, and in today's video, I'd like to show you a little Adobe Premiere Pro trick. If you would like to create a little graphic or animation to have come in over another video clip, this is how you can render your piece of work with no background. Because as you may already know, if you use any editing software, if there's no clip present and when you render it, Adobe will determine it to be black. It won't be transparent. So there's a very critical few steps to take in order to be successful with this. So to start off with, I'm using Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2019, and that's version 13.0.2, build number 38. Okay, so I think the best thing to do, so you really know what I'm talking about here, is I'll show you what I've already created and how I plan to use it. So this is a little Discord advertisement uh, that will come in during a certain point of my videos. Okay, so on to the rendering. So once everything's done, especially if you have other little things like sitting off on the side that you're not using, you want to tell Adobe what you want to render out. So you're going to set your in points and your out points. So you go to this little arrow here, go to the beginning, and then you're just going to press the letter I on your keyboard, and that's going to make the in point. And then you go to the end by clicking the opposite little arrow with the funny little bracket and click the letter O for out. So now I'm going to use a shortcut on my keyboard. It is the left control and the letter M is in Mary. That brings up your export settings. Now I saved mine as a preset and I'll show you how to do that as well. But the first thing you're going to want to do is, is select QuickTime down from the list. Once you hit QuickTime, you're going to come up and you're going to see it's going to have one of these little Apple deals going here. Don't worry about that. That's going to change. Now you're going to come down to this area of the export box and you have all these little tabs here, five tabs. So you want to be on the video tab. You're going to come to the video codec section. From the drop down, you're going to select animation. Then you go to the little scroll bar on the right here and you're going to scroll down until you come to the rendering setting for the alpha. It's usually default checked on the 8-BPC, but you want 8-BPC plus alpha. The alpha tells Adobe, do not render the background or the nothing. <laughs> now, if you have a background in your video clip, you wanna make sure that you get rid of that before you render. Otherwise, it's gonna render out at that color. And then I use down here in the bottom, use maximum render quality and use the previews because as you're working along, Adobe generates previews. So it's much easier to and faster and more efficient to render the video using the previews and it's very good quality. And then of course you have for time interpolation, I have frame sampling always for all my renders. Okay, so now if you don't wanna work on any other little projects or you don't wanna tweak certain things here, in your timeline, you can just go ahead and hit export and uh, render it out. Uh, you're going to also want to change the output name. If this is not what you want, whatever it defaults to, it'll, it'll usually take the name of a clip. Name it what you want and then navigate to the folder you want to save it in and click save. However, I like to play around with other things while this is going. So I use Adobe Encoder and I just think it's just easier and it shows progress and all of that as it's going along. Here it is and if you you can also um, export uh, in batches so if you've got several video clips you want to do you can bring them all into here and then hit the big play button and everything in the queue will render or you can just highlight individual clips and hit play and it will render those out. Now I've already done that so I'm going to show you how we're going to use that. Okay so further down the timeline I have my little example set up here as you saw before. So I have my intro play out. And then somewhere in the video, I'll have the Discord advertisement come up in the corner. So when you render it out, it's gonna be a QuickTime MOV file. If you don't have QuickTime installed on your PC, then you're not gonna be able to watch this to preview it. But this is the file here. So what you wanna do is, you wanna go to your media browser down here, okay? And if you don't see it, you just click on that and then everything in this little lineup will be here and you can hit media browser. You can also, if it's totally missing, make sure it's selected. You hit window up here and then go and select media browser. And this is all the things you know that I have showing. Okay, so here's our media browser. So you'll navigate to the folder on your hard drive where it is, and then you can change the size of the display for the little clips, okay? Whatever you like. So here's our little Discord thing. So I would right click on it and hit import. 
and then it's going to import into my project bit and you'll see it it defaults at a little blue color. It turns green when you use a clip. It makes a copy of it. It never uses the original. So if I drag this in here, it'll make a little copy with a green label on it. And you can change the colors of the labels as well. Like right here, right click, go to the list and select whatever color you want to use for it. Okay, so here's the original. So what you do is now you can just take it and you can drag it in wherever you want it. Adobe will automatically choose an audio track to put it on. Sometimes I don't want it on that track and sometimes it'll let me move it. Other times it won't. I don't know why, but that's what it does. <laughs> so I'm going to move it up here because I don't have any other audio on those tracks. And there you have it. Now, getting back to the rendering settings. Once you select QuickTime from the drop down menu and then you set up all your little settings like I showed you to save it as a preset, you come over here and you click this little arrow with the box over it and you hit save as preset and then you can name it whatever you want and if you have effects that you want to save with it you can do that at this time too by checking that i do not publish to youtube or any place else directly through adobe because 99.9% .9 of the time it doesn't work. So I export my videos and then I upload them to uh, wherever I want to put them from my hard drive. I'm not going to click OK because I already have the preset, but that's how you save it as a preset. And here it is right here. I named it QT Animation Render No Background. So I would select QuickTime and then my preset and then it'll populate everything just the way we set it up, including our audio export settings and everything else. And you're good to go. So I hope you found this helpful. Please let me know what you think down in the comment section. If you have any questions and I can answer them, I'm happy to help you out. If you wanted to see a little tutorial on how to do animations and stuff like that, just let me know and I'll be happy to put one together for you. So until next time, my friends, take great care of yourself, okay? And bye for now.